Hello and welcome to CGTN. I'm Yang Xinmeng. I'm Yang Chengxi. We are live at the Qinghai Boao Airport because uh, the Boao Forum for Asia is being held here right now. Mm -hmm. and today is a special day, special day for both of us. Yeah. We are getting on a helicopter. Wow. <laughs> Are you nervous? Are you excited? I am excited and also super nervous because You've I've never been on you. one before. No, no, this is my first time. Okay, well, I'm not much of a bragger, <laughs> but I've been I've been on one twice. Twice? Yes. You're a pro. Yeah. Well, I would want to say I'm a pro, but I've <laughs> only ridden on one. I've never driven one. Uh, the first time oh. I was on a helicopter was in 2017. 2017. It was also for the Boa Forum for Asia. It was exactly at this place. Wow. Yeah, that, that we took off. Uh, now, when we take off, you see just how beautiful this little town is. The the Wanshan River, to it. yeah, the the forest, the the town, and all the all the bars by the beach, uh -huh. the Jade Bell Beach. We're going to pass by, and uh, I would have to say the weather here is quite agreeable because Boao is actually one of the coolest places in China, southernmost Hainan province. Yes. Because of constant sea breezes, do you feel the breeze now? Yeah, it's not so hot here, to my surprise. And you see, you can see the weather is so good right now. We are on actually the east coast of the Hainan Island. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what about your second experience? Oh, that was super cool. Uh, my second time was in 2018, I believe, for the first China International Import Expo. I flew over the Lu Jiazui district in Shanghai, which is the central CBD. financial district. Wow, I, that flew, is, I can imagine, that is yeah, amazing. I literally flew across all those uh, skyscrapers. Uh -huh. So that was, that was pretty cool. So were you scared? when you were well, uh, in the helicopter for the first time? It was quite nerve-wracking. I was terrified. Really? Yeah, in the first, at the first time. So you know how I, I feel now, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like, I'm telling you, it's not as scary as you no? think. No? Okay. It's not okay. bumpy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not going to be like those horror movies. It's just this helicopter. A yes. CMG helicopter. Yes, it looks quite technique, but it's, it, it's simple enough. We take off, we're on the air. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a pretty smooth ride. Yeah, we'll just uh, take you to the air and see the beautiful Boao town from up above. So, I can I can wait. Mm -hmm. Shall we check out Shall what's we... inside here? Sure. There are so so many machines uh, here. So many equipment. I assume these are the two seats for us. Yes, yes. We'll be sitting on uh, either either side uh, okay. of this uh, helicopter. Okay, and here there's a monitor. Yeah, you can see the three little uh, Sony cameras that are going, that are going to be uh, directly uh, So that will capture us. my facial expression, yes. right? If yes. I scream, that will catch <laughs> yes, that. Yes. <laughs> we will archive that, yes, <laughs> definitely. Okay, so one for me, one for you, and the other one for uh, the captain. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. so what does this monitor do? Are you familiar with well, that? Well, maybe ask one of the crew. I can translate for you. Okay. 老师你知道这个是有什么用吗? 我们会看到什么图像吗? 电视机,你可以看到航拍画面 oh. Okay, so this is a monitor that will uh, let us see what we're filming either our face or what's down there 那您这边主要做的是? 那那位老师呢？那是空中导播，他选择我们空中演播室切换的。Okay. Okay. They are the uh, line producers that that are going to monitor all uh, the graphics, uh, and making sure everything looks fine, everything looks perfect. And we are gonna wear these uh, headphones, right? Because it was yes. so noisy. It'd on be the very very loud. Can I hear you? Still hear you in the headphones? Oh, well, we can we can use the intercom, but oh, if you if you take okay. off your headphones, it's gonna you you, you won't. Hear a thing except for the hum of the uh, helicopter. But we won't. We won't need to yell at each other, do we? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. No. Just okay. try to keep your voice down. You, okay. That you will have the impulse of raising your voice when you're up there because it's okay. going to be very loud. So just keep your instinct controlled. Just keep your voices down. So just that's my advice. Forgive me. Uh, excuse me if I yell or <laughs> scream on a helicopter. This is my first time. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll catch catch that on camera. We'll archive that. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, no, he can't hear us. He has the headphone on. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think we are ready. We can So okay. let's get on board. Do you want to sit on this side or that this side? This side. Okay, I'll, I'll just go over there. Okay. Ooh. So this is the seat belt. It's quite different from the, uh, the other regular. 
Seat belt is very important when you get on any form of uh, motor transportation. Okay. It's already very loud right now. It is.
We are on the helicopter. I have to say, it's much steadier than I thought it would be. I told you so. Well, I was really a bit nervous when we took off yep. because, you know, this is my first ever experience on a helicopter. And so I was like uh, talking to him, talking to Cheng Xi and waiting for uh, take off. And then the next time I turned, I turned my head, we we're already off the ground and yep. I didn't feel a thing. Yeah, that was my experience for the first time, though. Uh, I, I thought it was like, uh, would Bumpy. be like those horror movies yeah. and things like that. But it was ironically much more smoother than a regular airplane. Even though right now we are fl as we are flying in the air, it's not bumpy at all. And uh -huh. also we don't have that empty feeling in your stomach or I don't feel any ear pressure like uh -huh. we usually experience in those bigger uh, uh, regular planes. Uh huh. And well, I think that's part of the reason. Uh, uh, part of the reason is that we are in a state of the art helicopter right exactly. now. Exactly. So this is a seven seater uh, helicopter. Just so you know, we left our cameraman on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so we waved goodbye to him when yeah. we took off. And uh, right now there are, uh, so we are talking to uh, the fixed cameras, which uh -huh. are uh, attached on to the cabin. There are uh -huh. five cameras in the cabin. Three are here uh, uh -huh. point to pointing to us. And then there are two in the front, which where uh, the pilot and the co-pilot are sitting. So yeah. we have a, uh, yeah, a very I think professional that setup. Yep. We're broadcasting to you through a 4K feed. We could bump it up to 8K if we wanted to. Yeah. Well, I'm well. I'm glad you're in your element right now mm -hmm. because we're flying uh, above this beautiful uh, landscape. Right in front it's of us so is beautiful. the beautiful ocean, and on the other side is the beautiful town of Boao. And uh, right underneath us is the uh, is a long stretch of beach called the Jade Yudai Belt. Tan. Yes, yeah, Yudai Yudai Tan Tan in Chinese. Chinese. It's Jade Belt Beach. Yep. So uh, this beach is uh, so three major rivers in Hainan Island uh, flow into this vast South China Sea here. That's right. Wan Quan River, Jiu Chu River, and Long Guan River. Uh -huh. uh, and the uh, Jade Belt Beach is super long, as we can see. It stretches it stretches for ten kilometers, uh -huh. and uh, it ranges from ten meters to 500 meters wide. It's and pretty thin, huh? Yeah, it's pretty thin and super long. So this is one of the unspoiled beaches in Hainan. We know there are so many famous beaches in Hainan. A, lo a lot of them, a lot of them, the popular ones are in Sanya City, which is the on the southernmost uh, city on Hainan Island. But on the east coast, right where we are, there are some not mm. so famous, but very beautiful because they're unspoiled. Absolutely beautiful. And do you know that Jade Belt Beach holds a Guinness World Record? Really? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so What's it for? <laughs> it is the narrowest uh, beach, peninsula, separate rivers, and a sea. That, that's awfully specific, <laughs> if, if you ask me. It's, a <laughs> it's very specific. I, I mean, I could be a, re a Guinness World Record holder. For being I, I the one and unique, one and yes. only Yang Chengxi. <laughs> yes, <laughs> being the person that looked like myself the most, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I think the, uh, right beneath, beneath us is the uh, founding location of the uh, Boa Farm for Asia, right? Yes, yes, it was founded in, two, uh, well, the first ino inaugural Boa Farm was launched in 2001 after being set up right after the Asian uh, financial crisis talks of talks of its inauguration started, I think, in 1998 already. So uh, since 2001, we've this is the 20th edition uh, yep. of the forum right now. We've got, uh, it's gone through a, a long history. Well, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the huh? history of the Boao Forum? How it started, why it was founded uh, uh, 20 years ago? Of course. Now, as you can see, w this is a very watery town. So as you can imagine, aquaculture or fishing has been the mainstay, the exactly. main way of living for the locals here for centuries actually. So at the northern edge of the town you can find a local fishing village called Tanmen, right? Mm -hmm. You can see how the locals lived their lives for the past century. So uh, I actually talked to some of the fishermen there uh, once and well, some of them were preparing to head out to fish. Uh, when was that? Uh, which time? I mean which time in a, well, in a day? Uh, well at about 5.30 in the afternoon, oh, they were preparing yeah. to head out okay. to, to the ocean, to, to the sea, and were preparing to come back at about 4:30 in the morning. Can you imagine that? You either go out very late and come back in the morning, or you go out in the morning and come back at night. So it's really a very non-stop cycle. It's a very hard job to uh, 
to, to maintain. Yes, so just so you know, Taman uh, Town is the biggest fishing port in Hainan Island. It's also uh, rated as the first great uh, fishing port by the China's Agricultural Bureau. And wow. it's also the biggest distribution center of deep ocean products. Oh, so there are more than 20,000 fishermen living on wow. uh, in Taman Town. And they usually, unlike the fishers from uh, other places in China or in Hainan Island, they usually go fishing really far. They would go all the way from Taman Town to Xisha or Nansha Island. That and far? Yep. That far and they the will reach there in the, fa the faster way, they will reach there in 48 hours uh -huh. because they're wow. very familiar with the sea. Yeah. Wow, it's, it's a really a, a thankless job. Being Imagine being in pitch dark in the ocean and then the only thing you can do is is to fish, right? Exactly. Yeah. But but I think that's very enjoyable. Mm -hmm. You know, I filmed uh, sunrise uh -huh. uh, somewhere close here, so uh, I that's about 5 a.m. in the morning. Wow. And I also saw some fishermen coming back uh -huh. from the sea with boats of loaded of uh, seafoods and of fish, crabs, and shrimps. That's very alluring. Uh -huh. So they told me they go fish. Uh -huh. uh, they started from 3 a.m., around 3 a.m., and they uh, went out for two hours, came back with boats of seafood. That's, wow. that's, that's wow. amazing. Wow. I mean, well, the aquaculture here is obviously very charming, but a lot of the local fishermen have told me that uh, many of their comrades have uh, moved on to uh, other industries because this little town is changing from a very pristine, a local, a very traditional fa a fishing village into an international tourist town. And that's yep. thanks to uh, the international fame that the Boa Forum is bringing to this town. Uh, you can see right across the, right along the main street of Boa, you can see a lot of uh, uh, hotels and resorts, and you can, you can find golf courses, you can, you can, find, uh, you can find horse training range, mm -hmm. e everything that tourists just love about this place. Yes, exactly. 20 years changed Boao Town totally from a fishing village to an international town. Uh -huh. uh, I talked to a bar owner a uh -huh. few days ago, and he used to, to be a fisherman just uh -huh. 20 years ago. Uh -huh. And then 10 years ago in 2011, he started his own bar just one day ahead of the, uh, uh, the opening the of that Forum. year's yeah. Boao Forum. So uh, now he is very successful. He owns bar, he owns restaurants, and uh -huh. also he owns hotels. Uh -huh. That's all thanks to Boal Farm. Uh -huh. And also I went to you know a horse uh, horse riding arena uh -huh. in Boal Farm. We know that uh, horse riding arena are very uh, it's a very international uh -huh. sport. Yeah. It's relatively small and not so common in China. I yeah. mean Beijing has it, Shanghai has it, but Boal also has it. Uh -huh. So, uh, and they have a very international team there. The uh -huh. coaches are from different uh, parts of the world, different countries. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, the members of the club also come from uh, different, different countries of the, of the world. Mm -hmm. so, so you can imagine all these locals working in all kinds of hospitality business. So you can imagine the, the, the change that Boao Forum has brought to this place. Uh, today, Boao is not only dependent on the on the once a year Boao Forum itself because because of the fame because of the town's identity uh, as as a tourism town as a place where forum for conferences can be held about 400 industry conferences are held uh, right here in Boao all throughout the year that can provide an opportunity uh, for employment for the locals to sustain themselves uh, well one example i could mention is that i talked to the village commission head who used to run Dongyu Island. Now, Dongyu oh, Island is the island that we're looking at right now. Yeah, it we're is right where, above it. Yes, it is where the venue of the Boao Forum is. So the entire island has been transformed into into these uh, all these conference halls and and golf courses. So a lot, so many of the uh, people, local people on Dongyu Island, have moved have moved themselves to the nearby Boao town, where they used to live a very tradition live in a very traditional way. They were mm -hmm. they were farmers and and, and fishermen. And uh, and they used to, to take ferries to the to, to the nearby Boao Boao, uh, Boao town, but now they have underground uh, underground tunnels and everything. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of them they don't work in agriculture and fish and fishing and, and farming anymore. They've mm -hmm. moved on to uh, become shop owners, yep. become hotel owners. All so kinds of so businesses. all kinds of hospitality businesses. Yes. So as we can see, Dongyu Island is a very very beautiful island. It is at the intersection of the three major rivers we mentioned and the vast 
South China Sea. So on this island only, we can see, of course, the beaches, ocean, and also rivers, lakes, mountains. So it preserves uh, the best ecological environment it mm -hmm. could be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, one of the uh, one of the good things about being in the southernmost Hainan province is that you're surrounded by nature, right? There's just a lot of greenery right here. Exactly. The, the, the air is always fresh. And then one of the good things about Boao is that although we're in a tropical weather, it's it is not so hot. It's not so hot. It's actually quite nice. Be but that's because uh, this is actually one of the coldest places in Hainan province mm -hmm. due to uh, frequent sea breezes. So exactly. it's actually quite comfortable living here. So I'll, uh, it attracted a lot of people, especially from northern China, to come here to escape from the cold. Yes. So right beneath us is the uh, venue, the main venue of the Boa Farm for Asia. Today is the second day of the forum and uh, we'll have more coverage of the forum. We'll have more live streamings brought, brought to you by us. So Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we toured you in air around yeah. the Boao uh, town and also a little bit of the Jade yeah. Belt Beach uh, and the Wenchuan River. Uh, but just stay tuned. We'll yeah. have more coverage from Boao. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.